everyone, Natalie here. We've got another box today. What is in this? What is a thunder egg? Let's check it out. I think my team has boxed this up well, and that is not a thunder egg. All right, everyone, in the gemological community, this is a very rare find, usually known as a um, rubber, rubberite. Where is my thunder egg? It's inside? <laughs> Holy moly. All right, smaller box, heavier box. No rubber band ball inside. Goody number one. All right, everyone, say hello to your thunder egg. Two half of a beautiful rock. What is a thunder egg? The outside doesn't really remind me of thunder. It's pretty loud. In the United States, the most common place to find these thunder eggs is in Oregon. If I was hiking and I saw this stone, I don't think I'd be able to tell actually what was in the inside. If you're looking at the beautiful vistas, you're not thinking about what that rock is, whether it's a thunder egg or not. You can see this like line right here that it was cut in half. But if you look at it like this, you can't tell a difference. You don't know what's going on the inside. It could be a geode, it could be a thunder egg. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, who knows? Maybe this is a, a dragon egg. So next time you're anyone you're hiking, bring like a chainsaw or a rock saw and bring your favorite geologist to chop these babies open. Forget about hiking, let's have some fun. Just don't chop your hand open. Boring old rock. Really cool thunder egg. Now the outside is it's just really rough texture. It's extremely heavy. A weird staining right here. I could probably knock someone out with these. This is really soft right here. This has actually been polished, but what I'm seeing is you kind of have this like brown color. That, as a gemologist, that could be like some sort of iron. This is even interesting because it fills. You know, you have this almost picture frame right here around it, and then you've got this really cool striation and growth pattern. It's much smoother, and I can feel a little ridge right here. This is all different type of mineral. You all know what a geode is. It'll be the beautiful rocks that have kind of rough crystals on the inside. This is similar. This is actually its maybe distant cousin. See this outside right here? This is like where a geode would grow. You're gonna see kind of rough crystals. They're actually called druzy. What happens next is that, you know, something changes with the way that the environment is with the stone when it's grown and you can see that a little water or some sort of mineral gets in. You can actually see the layering, each different layer. So this inside, it's probably chalcedony. Other side is the same. That is what a thunder egg is. So all of these stones are kind of a, I don't know, a, a clue into what's going on in Mother Nature, but they're a really cool clue that we can chop in half. So what's better? I would crack this open. I would display it on my bookcase, something like this, and put my books in between because I'm a book nerd. Let's take a closer look at what is going on inside this thunder egg. everyone so it jumped out at me with this particular thunder egg look at that that growth structure you see the the different striations of different colors I just think that is so neat and frankly I could look at that all day we hope you liked our video and stay tuned for others in the future don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions feel free to comment below I am actually gonna leave you and I'm gonna go look at some more specimens find some really cool stuff maybe some more cool thunder eggs who knows